Eric Mwadet, Mwadet.com with another mentorship video. We are looking at the markets here. Earlier the market was down about 170 points coming off the lows of the day. We'll see where we close. And this, is, this video is actually talking about one stock that is doing great. Just want to show you what I'm looking at for the sake of understanding what it takes for a stock to move higher week to week, month to month, day to day, hour to hour. So let's go to the stock. And it is a stock that I recommended to subscribers this week. Why? Because on the monthly, Papa Murphy's FRSH is breaking out above the recent monthly closing high. It's a great looking chart because we can see that the previous breakout was very successful off this monthly closing high. So there was a breakout previously and the stock went to a good run moving from about $11 breakout level to about 20. So about a 90, 80% gain in about one, two, three, four months or so. And the reason why I liked it and I still like it is because on the monthly, because it's an IPO, we only have one of the MACDs and one of the MACDs is already breaking out right now on that monthly time frame. Looks good on the monthly. Take a look at the weekly which also looks great and you can see this is what you're looking for whenever you're looking for a candidate is a stock that has a tendency to hold on to its gains like it did here so this is evidence that in good market environments this stock has an ability of moving higher holding on to gains we see right now that on the weekly we are moving above 69.1 even on the weekly which is great and because it's an IPO a little bit here of um, explanation as to why you can still use the ultimate more the breakout for an IPO here we can see that because it didn't have a monthly chart at the time this breakout now was your minimum requirement that the RSI on the weekly move to new highs which happens to be this nice week and this breakout and then there's another breakout also here to all-time highs on the month on the weekly which is the chart in front of us which is this entry here and there was another breakout again at the beginning of the year 2015 which was this nice breakout here so multiple reasons to own the stock over the last couple of months and then there was also another breakout here as the stock made another all-time high move on the weekly RSI right there so for an IPO the weekly has been the default chart because we have not had enough data for the month and this was good enough to go along during this breakout here right now we are seeing another opportunity based on the previous monthly chart I just showed you and now we are seeing that if it can break out again with the RSI on the weekly reclaiming that 69.1 level that's great now a little bit of an explanation why do we have this as the biggest moving period in the stock right there why is this the biggest moving period it is because at that point the RSI for the first time moved above 69.1 and also made an all-time high so the energy was there once it made its first foray into the 69.1 level that was again good enough to push the stock higher so during all this period when the RSI was giving us buy signals we can see that the MACDs were also breaking out to all-time highs throughout all this period. So the MACDs were not being left behind. And that's why if you take a look at the RSI's breakout here, this breakout corresponds with that MACDs moving to new highs here and here. And even the other breakouts, and it, we don't have to go to all of them, so as the RSI's were making fresh breakouts, RSI moving to fresh breakouts there, and even this one, in each instant, we see that the MACDs were also following through. For example, this one, MACDs were also making new highs, and this one here, you can see that that period also corresponds with the MACDs also making new highs so that's why the stock has had a nice run now on the daily just want to show you what i'm observing here on the daily 
Right now, the stock is doing well, and I still like it. But I think this could also be a trap, we shall see. Because if I take a line connecting the previous lows like this and extend it, the stock has to contend with this potential resistance here. So if this continues being resistance over the next day or so, that could be an area where it could pull back day to day. Is it a broken uh, stock? Should one sell it here? No because the monthly continues to show breakout so we have to go with the bigger time frame the bigger time frame always wins over the smaller time frame so that was something to watch also keep keep in mind you see this formation here looks like it is looking to form a double top unless it can continue pushing higher and negate the formation of a double top so unless it can continue moving higher it looks like it is setting up to form a double top in fact if we take a look at a six months daily let's take a look at a six months daily see whether we can get it correct six months all right you can see here what the RSI looks like my thinking is that by end of day it will not surprise me and that's why I'm recording this video that you know down the road whoever's watching this check and see what happened because it would make sense around here if the RSI stalls that it forms a double top on the RSI based on the back test line we drew coming back from previous lows so right there if that becomes a double top short term it pulls back now how do you know it could be a double top well we don't know but we can anticipate because of the formation the way it's gone up slightly down slightly up and now it's like this by end of day it could have coiled back in other words it could close close off the highs and end the day today like that and then in the coming day also look like that so sometimes you can anticipate these things by just looking at the current formation otherwise for the market to negate this and for this not to take place and also for our resistance line which is a back test so this line here which corresponds to the prior lows so basically this is what I think this is what this might look like in my opinion if it takes place now for that market to show strength well, obviously we need the market to not form the double top and to continue coiling higher so let's take a look here at the hourly again in trading an IPO here we're just looking at things to look for again whenever you don't have a completely formed monthly chart you go to the weekly whenever you don't have a completely formed weekly chart you go to the daily whenever you don't have a completely formed daily chart you go to the hourly and that is how you trade IPOs even though you keep the technical analysis and the minimum requirements the same so here we can see that on the hourly there's a breakout this breakout here corresponds with this move the market has gone above that blue line and going above it coming to test it and that's why it's moving high again so as of right now the hourlies look good daily is where there's a question mark otherwise the weeklies and the monthlies look good for an IPO the stock looks good and keep in mind that it is in the same sector as retail uh, restaurants or fast food and we can see here that there's another name in the space shack that has had a nice run so one of the reasons why I am and have been recommending this stock over the last week or so is because Shaq has been doing great and as an IPO you can see this great entry here and we went along this name I believe somewhere around here I might be off a little bit but that is where we went long because of that breakout take a look at the weekly chart for Shaq and you can see that yes we went long during this phase here this breakout I believe that's right if that was not correct we went long during this breakout the subsequent breakout somewhere here in the 70s before it jumped all the way to the 90s in about one or two weeks so it's been a good stock and because it's doing well in the same sector that's why I also believe that a stock like uh, Papa Murphy's FRSH could also do well and on this monthly chart you can see it is breaking out above 18 and continues to act well and trade well 
Eric Moabe, that's how you trade IPOs. Good luck, peace, and blessings. Woo! E-A-C-S.